last month and did her very first week of webisodes and we asked you if she should do more overwhelmingly you said yes we want more we want more <laughs> so Anne has been creating like a demon and this is now Anne's summer first look and what we're going to look at today is our first look at never before seen dazzles number three right and wait till you see what Anne has done with these sound interesting come, come play, play with us, us. Well, here they are. These are the 20 sheets that are brand new for 2014. Never before seen dazzles That's and right. lots of different finishes and colors. And for instance, we take the dies that we've used, and this was in black, and um, and I think in a pearl. But look yeah, at right. it in copper. Isn't, Isn't that, that gorgeous? Beautiful. That beautiful mirror finish. Remember when you get a mirror finish to be a little bit more careful um, when you're lifting the dazzle so that they don't tear. They're a little bit more delicate. <laughs> and here we have the bicep. Well, in fact, we'll just go through and show you all of sure, these. We and, well, we'll show them to you as we do the project. As we see the projects. Yeah. But there are those different finishes. The blue glitter. We have mirror. We have matte colors. Lots of fun finishes. And then the foilings are fun, too. So lots of different ones. So I'm going to scoop these away. And we're going to bring... Get into the project. Yes, get into the project. So here is the first one. And this is a sheet of the swirly uh, hearts. This was originally done on a pink. Here it is in red, just that glittery red with gold foiling on the edges. Isn't that beautiful? Look at it set against white cardstock and then placed on that pattern paper and it just kind of pops. Now, what has been done right here is something called backing a dazzle. And I kind of like to show you yes. how that was done. All right, so I've got a piece of white cardstock. I've got those beautiful dazzles. I'm going to start by picking up that the largest of those of the heart um, dazzles that's on that sheet. It's, uh, let's see, I'm going to kind of take it from both sides so I don't tear it. It's really kind of sticky. This is a good one. <laughs> Hence, it's a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sticker, it's a dazzle. <laughs> so I have to peel that off a little bit at a time. I'm working my way down to the bottom. Lots of little scrolls and down at the bottom. I don't want to tear them. Well, this is normally tearing isn't an issue, but when you have um, such an elaborate one and such a large one, so right. just whenever you feel the resistance, just move your finger toward that area and lift again. Right. So there we go. We've got the whole piece there. And I'm going to set that on top of this cardstock. But since I don't want to back the scrolls down at the bottom, uh, I'm going to set the scroll work off of the bottom of the piece a little bit so they don't have to do quite so much to cut around it. And I'm going to set that just so. Let it sit down on its own. There we go. So I take the scissors. And just like you have, short bladed <laughs> scissors work right. really well for this. Right. I'm going to peel these up. Yeah, because you don't, there's no way you're going to cut around those decorative right, pieces. Right, right. So it's, if you don't like push the dazzle down quite a bit, then you can peel it up pretty easily and you can just cut around it. Now I'm going to cut right under that edge, right where you can see. And you're just kind of folding it over on top. Right. That way it can, um, you know, mm -hmm. be out of your way. There. Now I've been able to cut right there so that that won't be sitting on anything. That'll be all by itself there. And then for the rest of the dazzle, I might on the edges pull up just little pieces so that I can go under there. And then I'll go around. Then I'll follow the edge. Go around following the edge of the dazzle. And your scissors will just kind of um, go right along the edge of the dazzle. It won't, um, it's really pretty simple to follow the dazzle in this way. It's funny how the edge of the dazzle almost guides your scissors, isn't it? Right. So, right. and we're not going to have you do the whole thing, but, but just... here, I'm going to peel, peel that back yeah. so you can see. So that's the effect of backing a dazzle so that on the back you see just the parts that are going to be covered with that white cardstock, and then this part can just sit on the rest of your paper. Right. And that's what Anne has done here. And you can see she used the border at the top. Now at the bottom, she has used this 
package or this sheet of embossed foil tags and we're going to include that in today's money saver and they do need to be cut out and she's done some stamping on it as you can see right and a small piece of cardstock was set right in the center of this too so she could, she could get that white cardstock okay Very and cute so um, I think you a great big hug well, now wait a minute. This already has white in oh, it. Oh, it does. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, sorry. I, I saw all of the silver. <laughs> so I you're just stamping right I in assumed there. assumed yes. if you wanted to stamp on these, you would have to use like a stays on exactly. black or, or surfaces. surfaces. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And on the inside, she has done just a little heart into the circle. And that's one that is totally silver, as you can see. And just added one of those right. small dazzles. Now, I noticed that these are silver, and there's gold ah. edging on that dazzle, but it's still, it's a great combination. It is. We call silver that mixing our metals. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go into our second project. Oh, and look at that. This is using <laughs> the uh, the Love Dazzles, this time in red. I think they originally came out in black. Right. And in this particular case, Anne has matted it on the suede. And it's just a perfect look. So there's that, that beautiful teal suede. There's a teal uh, suede border back here. And this has been done on one of the border papers of the Robin's Red Paper Pack. Right. What I like about this one, the Dazzle is still... It's sort of back, but it's not it's not technically back because it wasn't cut close right to the edge. Right. But this is still this is a simpler way of cutting out if you don't want the the detail or the time of cutting right next to the dazzle, you can just cut like about a sixteenth of an inch away from it and you can just sort of cut loosely around. See you can just really easily cut around those edges and then you don't have to be quite so detailed. And it still it gives you a matted effect for your dazzle. And so, so in our instructions, we look. would call this matting it on um, matting the, the, on suede, the suede, right? as Instead opposed of, to backing. Right, yeah. correct. <laughs> the other thing on here, I love how these are coming down from the top. Isn't Just that great? Very pretty. And she's alternated them with some of the, the glitter dazzles from one of the other sheets. Right. So they, they mix well. And there's one of our uh, burlap, butterflies. burlap butterflies. It too has been matted on the suede. On the suede, so that's great. Those are, it's, it's nice. It's kind of a, a rich look and then kind of a, a coarse look a little bit with those burlap flowers. Really cute. Right. And then on the inside, just have a whole bunch more along the top. That's very fun to see all of those uh, kind of uh, explanatory and hearts. And then a row of hearts down at the bottom. Now that row of hearts is going to come and be shown on our next card. Oh, and these oh. as well. I mean, it's kind oh, of hard good. to see, but they're on there. And yeah. normally they're straight, but these are done sort of in a wavy line. And there they are on the sheet. So maybe you can see that they are very, very sweet. Let it integrate. Since oh, they are the, wavy. Since the colors, <laughs> yeah, since the colors work so well. Cute. Okay, so that's matting. And now we're going to go into this collection. Now, th oh isn't gosh. this... <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Just beautiful. This is using, believe it or not, yeah. this border as well as the snowflakes, as well as the um, words and phrases, and it's all on feathers paper. Isn't that beautiful? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> right. Feathers for a, a wintry look yes. with those big, beautiful mirror snowflakes. This one in particular, really cute that she was uh, able to cut it in half right. and spread that dazzle apart so she could put that greeting on the center. Right. Now, looking at this, and when I'm telling you it came from this, you know, what did Anne do? Yeah, do you believe? Do you believe us? Okay. Always so. believe us. <laughs> Here are the dazzles that she used, these beautiful red glitter border dazzles. They're super shiny, but she wanted a more subdued look that would go with those blue mirror dazzles. So she took out the turquoise set of the Spectrum Noirs pens, and I've got number BT7 here. I'm going to open up the large end here, the chisel end, and I'm just going to swipe it over those dazzles. Okay. Like so. Over the... Over the swirly swirl. ones. So I'm just going to, whoops, I pushed a little too hard there. <laughs> but I, I like to leave it right on the sheet that I'm working with. Right. Unless it's getting too close, you know, uh, you can take it off, put it on a piece of uh, acetate or something if you want to move it around. But look at that. It just immediately changes those colors. 
and yet you still have as well let me bring the card back in you still have that blue under excuse me the red that, that underneath red right sort of shiny maybe. now yeah. these straight pieces she yep. used the extra area on the dazzle sheet and simply cut it out. So, you know, you certainly don't want to let any any area of this go unused. Right. So you can <laughs> use all of those extra pieces. The other thing, and I love the snowflakes coming, you know, the pieces of snowflakes as well as the cut snowflake. But going off of the edge, like they're falling onto the card. Right. That's the look. I love that look. And I just thought it was brilliant putting it on the fancy feathers paper. <laughs> I love the bling right in the center of these. Right, some rhinestones. Crystals. Yeah, the rhinestones. And on the inside, the Just For You is another sheet that's here. So this is the green readings and you have it in this black so it's going to go with everything and another of the border on the inside just a little bit of them just sort of <laughs> peeking out underneath That's but that mirror look on the snowflakes is just stunning okay Beautiful. so that was a whole bunch of them, a on, whole one. Bunch of them on one right card. now our next card has a little bundle of joy and <laughs> this is using um, and I know this is hard to see you're just kind of seeing it's yellow but these have been placed on patterned paper instead of on cardstock. Right, and there are lots of baby images on there. It says yes. congratulations. It has uh, these little... Too cute. Yeah, it has buttons, these little pins, obviously teddy bears. It's just a really... It's great for baby cards. It even has these little rickrack borders. Those are actually <laughs> the dazzles. Yeah. So she paper pieced this in different sizes of paper and then covered up the seams with those borders. I love that. She also backed her dazzles on the pattern paper but I see different colors coming in here right and this was done on the pretty little posies paper pack I actually took one of the dazzles and put it on um, one of the rosemary and thyme papers it's kind of similar and then she just took spectrum noir pens and colored in the areas that she wanted to look different I don't believe I have the color that she used please look on the gallery to see the <laughs> color she used but it's real simple to do that you just color in right within those little areas that I got it okay very now simple. you could back each of those tiny ones with a special, with a <laughs> certain color, but we think coloring them in like this is just so much easier. It is easier. So, I mean, I've seen that done. I've seen people go in and back just portions of that with those little different colors of uh, pieces of paper, pattern paper, and then put the rest of it on this large piece. But this is great. So That's you can color that in any color you want. Really so simple to do. So easy. And Very this cute. is what she's done. So we've got a little bundle of joy. I love how she used the Rick Rack Dazzle. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, our little elephant and a big congratulations up there. All of those are on that one sheet. And having it in yellow, that way you can make it for a boy or a sure. girl. And you don't have to worry about that. Very cute look. Now, speaking of coloring, mm -hmm. look at what she has done. Next. This is spectacular. It is. It's first, oh, there they are. There the they beautiful are. <laughs> red glitter. This is cardinal the cardinal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it does have words. As you can see, the Merry Christmas is right there. It has um, words. It has borders, right. which the border in this case was placed underneath the tag. So that's just a part of the border that was used. And I love how these are colored in. And I, this is um, Christmas sweets. I leaf paper right. and the cardinals you know the Christmas sweets is kind of a playful uh, design wise and to do these cardinals which are pretty serious right. um, but what a beautiful beautiful look that right. she's done. Uh, Anne is really good at uh, using a very busy background paper and making everything sort of pop on top yeah. of it so I like that look and that she used the Spectrum Noir she really blended them in nicely with using the the darker colors out on the edge edges of the dazzles and then moving them inward to a lighter color using a blender pen to blend it all nicely so just a beautiful way of backing that. So back it first and then go ahead and color yeah, it. And then in some areas not coloring at all. Right. And going down here to this little guy. Just beautiful. Just those those are fun to do. You could just sort of sit around and work on those independently and then figure out, <laughs> oh, where should I put these once I've created them? I think it was also <laughs> clever that she used the stripe and she turned it vertically, but then she cut these papers and has them going at an angle. And that just creates a really nice perch for this little cardinal. Really the cute. Merry Christmas coming in, as you said, that has the border. And then on the inside, she's used the border at the bottom of the stripe paper. Right. Just the to, rest of that border. Yeah. Right. So Peace and joy are part of it, as well as more of the 
uh, design. So, so uh, gorgeous. Uh, these gorgeous. go a long, <laughs> a long way. Quite a few were used from that, but there's still a lot left on that dazzle sheet to be used on other cards. Yes. Now, pretty much we've used um, a single one, but in this case, Anne has combined two together. So we have the dragonflies, and yes, I'll turn it right side up. And we also have the butterflies. And this is done in the dark purple, this in the uh, lavender mirror. And look what she has done. Isn't that beautiful? And it's all done over that uh, Kindred Spirits paper pack oh. with that busy sort of a <laughs> pink daisy chain with brown back there. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. It's just so beautiful. It sets on there nicely. But one of the reasons you can see them so well is after they were backed on different colors of paper, they were also highlighted behind with a shadow. Now, you might think that they're popped up on top with uh, foam tape, but they're not. They're it's colored around right. with Spectrum Noir. Okay, show us, lady. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the piece. I did it kind of the opposite direction, but first I took that dazzle. I can lift it up for a little. No, I can't. I glued it on. I first backed the dazzle on green paper from the paper pack, from the Kindred Spirits paper pack. Then I glued it in place on the background paper. And from the Cool Grays uh, Spectrum Noir set, the Cool Grays, I've got a couple of colors here, IG6 and IG8. One is a little bit darker. That's the IG6, I believe, yes. And I'm going to start with that and make a shadow right next to the, uh, the dragonfly. So I'm going right. to start right around the wings here. So she just started by making a line going right next to it, like And so. you're using the narrow tip. The narrow right. tip. Go around there, go around the edge here, around the bottom. And then you stop. Then you stop. Yep. And go to the next color, which is just a little bit lighter, and you just follow around that line, just like so. So you're just going outside of that first line? Just outside of okay. that first line. Okay. And it just creates this nice shadow behind the dazzle. Very neat and very easy. Super easy. Super easy. So this is what Anne has done. When you're doing shadowing like this, you uh, want to figure out, you know, like the light here is coming from the way my hand is. So you're not going to have any shadow at the top. You're going to have it all going over to the right hand right. side. So choose a side, right side or left yeah. side, and then stick with that side but beautifully done. And every now and again, you'll find that maybe the dazzle color is too close to the color of your background paper. This is a great way to give that definition. Sure, there, instead of matting it. So another yeah. way would be to matte it, but the nice thing yeah. about this, it actually looks like a shadow and just not matted all the way around. This These are, is the yeah. pull-apart berries. That's right, <laughs> that's right, not pulled apart. Right. <laughs> and you can see that we've got a scroll up here that has not been shadowed. And then the, the, um, the frame. Some, right, and these are the, oh, you've got that one. Right, right, right the there. Frame from on there. And then birthday blessings comes from the... Words and phrases. Words yeah. and phrases. Tiny right. words and phrases. And um, on the back here, or on the inside, she has another one. Enough room to write a message, which is nice. There's also flowers on that. And again, look at this little piece. That is the excess area that fraction of an inch right. that you can just okay. cut and um, use to make borders. And in this case, because the color of the uh, is the same in here, you can just place ah. the dazzle directly on the paper Good and point. still give it a shadow without backing it on another color. Good point. And there's the uh, border. So beautifully, beautifully done. Okay, now we're going to go into oh, more wait, flowers. Wait, what? wait, come back. Okay. I saw something I didn't notice before. The edges. Yes. The edges were also done with those little strips. Wow. Did you say that? Oh, yeah. I didn't say that, I didn't no. See that. <laughs> so that's been done with the edges of this. Right. Wow. So she cut just little <laughs> 16 to 1 8 inch strips, and she used that yes. to go all around the edge. And then at the bottom, she used a border. A border here, a border Just yes. beautiful. Oh, so, good job. I, I thought, thought it you was matted that. on some yeah, paper. Yeah, I kind of did too, but okay. <laughs> Great. Now we're going to go into the flowers, and what a job she's done here. Now, she's using this floral set, 
and um, it again has borders, it has words, nice big images in right. this case. And that beautiful pink and it's got gold edging so it right. just really kind of stands out nicely. And look what she's done. And she's used the Mirage paper pack right? and she has backed those flowers, actually matted those flowers on several different papers from the paper pack. She's kind of made her own paper toll. You can right. see that those are lifted up with foam tape. Stack them on top with foam tape. And we all always use a very uh, thin foam tape because you don't want this to get an inch tall right. um, so that works out just you really can still nicely get it in the mail that way and this here is a strip of the pink dazzles right, right along the edge it doesn't have that gold edging Again, it's just along right the edge of the sheet and this uh, little leaf should be in the in the gallery there'll be a pattern for you for that. but a real look, simple leaf form look how fun she's done having that go at an angle and mm -hmm. this is another example of what you're talking Talking about that she will take a busy paper right. and use the dazzles on them and use them so well that you can just really see it yeah. you just have to that's the the, the trick about using <laughs> a very heavily patterned paper is that whatever you put on it really has to sort of be seen well and right. she does a nice job and I love how she just clipped the corner there added a different color paper and put the little border mm -hmm. of the border dazzles there now, If Friends Were Flowers is right down here. This also has some blue behind it, and you could do that with the pen. In this case, she has actually matted it matted onto it on the paper. paper. But yeah. you can definitely do that with a Spectrum Noir pen as well. And on the inside, I pick you, and there's one of the flowers. And then just little blossoms cascading at the top right. and down at the Scattered bottom. Scattered around, really mm -hmm. sweet. Very nice. Now, we're going to take this same dazzle. We're going to add this dazzle. Oh, beautiful. And we're going to put them together. Now, Susan did this card, but we just couldn't resist bringing it <laughs> in. And you can see that she has also um, layered them, as Anne did, so that seemed to be a good technique. Matted and right. layered, and she also matted and layered the frames in different colors. Right. This one was matted, uh, this one was backed on the red paper right. and then matted on black and then stacked on top and the greetings uh, dazzles were used there as well. Exactly. So just a beautiful look. I, this I, is also in the same... Uh, the Mirage? Uh, yeah, right. The Mirage paper pack. I love the, the long strips and then these little corner dazzles. Ah. That was taken from the frames as well. These little corner dazzles are matted and foam taped on. Right. Really cute. And then on the inside, a great big thinking of you, which is also in the collection of Never Before Seen, and some little flowers that are just glued down. So beautiful looks. Now we're going to take these uh, I'm going to take out the pink. We're going to keep the blue. Right. We're going to add the uh, feathers. Ooh, the copper feathers. And surprisingly, we're going to add the copper cameras. Just, okay. Yes. What's that Got all look that? Like? Well, it's going to look exactly like this. Oh, look at that. And isn't this stunning? It's a really interesting mix with these great um, sort of collage papers, the right. Homeward Bound paper pack. And so you can see that Anne has taken, first of all, two of the cameras and has backed them on the same pattern paper, but then offset them from a backed frame mm -hmm. that was also put on a, the in this case, the blue paper. It really makes, with foam tape, that really mm -hmm. makes it sort of look 3D since it's not centered right. right in the center of that frame. It's up a little bit. It just really kind of draws her eye up. And then she's created another one here and used the greetings dazzles. And then the feathers. The feathers. I love the feathers. Look, they're just sort of here. It's sitting off of the edge, just a little bit right. clipped off the edge. And then tucked underneath here, it just sort of draws your eye around following those I like feathers. that curve, yeah. yes, it kind of leads your eye right. into that second camera. So thinking of you, and then on the inside, look what she's done. So here's another part of one of the frames. Again, the camera is offset. It's not been foam taped. This time it's right. flat because it's on the inside. Up here, we have the other half of that same frame right. with a hello. I like the little heart. And then more of the feathers. Just a little cluster. Isn't and that cute? plenty of room to write a message or put a piece of cardstock with your message on it. But just pretty striking. Now, you can do all of these. You can do the backing. You can do the matting. You can do the layering. Right. Or you can simply place them on your card <laughs> for a very fun look. Now, I know that looks white, but truly it is die cut. There are images on here. 
um, truly would I lie to you? No, right. I wouldn't. These are the bones dazzles, right. which previously we've, they've been released in <laughs> black. black. Right. It's kind of neat that they're actually in white. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Now a little paper piecing was done behind the skull. Fiesta, this is on the Rhapsody paper, which I think right. is very fun. And on the inside, isn't that <laughs> just a little charmer? It is. It's charming. <laughs> it's bones, but it's just really cute. And it's done. This was used, uh, one of the um, design toolkits, right. I believe, mm -hmm. was to do this part here, which is great. This big, large You're label exactly area. Exactly right. So beautiful. that's just an example of you can just glue, right. you know, place it down. Here's another example, right. and this is with those uh, bikes and baskets we showed you earlier. I love that the paper here was yes. torn and then distressed a little bit, so it re very much looks like grass and, and a hillside there, and that the balloons were backed, and one of them is just going off the edge of this Hi. card. Enjoy the ride, and then on the inside, delivering smiles. This is, is a really nicely cute done. idea, just clipping the corners in a really mm -hmm. big clip creates this really cute look. All right, so you're going to measure from the corner the same measurement at the top and at the bottom. Draw your line and cut it and do it on both sides. We've got some flowers down below, mm -hmm. so you can pull those off of the other dazzles. Right, some of them are in red, some of them are in this glitter blue. Mm -hmm. Now another example of pretty much just placing the dazzles comes with these music dazzles. Now these are the silver, but the, gr the black is a glittery look, so it's, um, but again, the glitter is not going to rub off. So we've got words like, um, you know, rock and roll, listen to the music. This is a just a little pocket that's been put on top of our card with, yes, a gift certificate on the inside. And that's nice. And that's one of the Sarah Surfaces right. pocket. Right, the just a little pocket. And then on the inside, looking a beautiful way to use the uh, piano keys and rock and roll. Right, well, they were just placed right there. They didn't have to be backed because they're the white keys. Great keys. idea for a birthday card, listen mm -hmm. to the music. Now, another example of doing something else is done with this. And these are the lace, but with a silver foiling. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> it's so striking. The, it's black with just that silver edging, yeah. and it does a lot. Now, you're seeing lots of different colors in here, and that's because this was first placed on cardstock. Was it doing? Yeah. Well, first the uh, oh, double-sided right. adhesive, right. and it's, this adhesive was uh, placed on the cardstock, and then right. we used the... Um, micro glitter to rub the micro glitter all over it and then we burnished it a couple of times just right. rubbing it with our fingers there is a webisode where we go through all of the steps yeah look and, for the micro glitter yeah. webisode and you'll you'll see that technique detailed then we place the dazzle now some people talk about uh, wetting the back of the dazzle. You don't have to do that. Just oh, no. place the dazzle. They stick on there very nicely. Yeah. And then you use Spectrum Noir pens right. to color in just the areas that you want after it's sitting on there. And you just tap those in. Uh, you want to be careful not to scrub the, the nib over that. But what a beautiful look. And you do have the borders. And then on the inside, another. This is actually using the innies, which we have not oh, that's talked right. about. Using, using the innies. Right. So when all of your dazzles are gone off of your sheet, there is still something that you can play with. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. Here, for example, while this one has been removed, I can take my scissors and cut around the edges of that to create, this is what we call the innies. I can just cut around the edges right. of that. And you're leaving a little border because... Leaving a little border the whole way, and then you have another dazzle, basically, that you can peel off right. there and use again if I go all the way around. There is a transfer sheet that's sold separately if you want to do... That works just great to lift them. Uh -huh. right. Now, there are two dazzles out of the t collection of 20 that we did not use, so I just want to give equal play. So you've got the uh, mirror with the trees, and the reindeer, which I absolutely love, especially the flying reindeer in the brown. <laughs> and so I'm sure you can make something wonderful with that. So 20 never before 20 seen dazzles. 20 never before seen dazzles. <laughs> Here, you're going to, I know they're going to go up. So what are you going to do? We're going to go like this. See? Oh, 20 okay. Never before seen <laughs> dazzles. Look at all those dazzles. Now be sure to join us tomorrow because Anne has done some <laughs> wonderful things. See, See you tomorrow. Bye.